as Liverpool's players take a break from club football during the international break, the Reds have time to focus on the contract situation affecting three of their key men. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Mohamed Salah and Virgil van Dijk are all out of contract in the summer of 2025. All three will be able to speak to overseas clubs in January with a view to signing a pre-contract agreement. And all three could potentially follow the likes of former stars Roberto Firmino and Jeannie Wijnaldum in leaving for nothing. There has been plenty of talk regarding all three players, but the conversation around Alexander Arnold has mentioned one potential suitor in particular. It's no secret that Real Madrid are in the market for a right back, and the England star certainly fits the bill. The question marks over Alexander Arnold are front and center as brings you the latest from around Anfield. Here are the latest lines. Real Madrid haven't ruled out a January push for Trent Alexander Arnold, according to Relivo. However, the Spanish club recognizes the difficulty in getting a mid season deal over the line. The same publication indicates there has already been contact between player and club. Madrid will be able to officially announce a pre contract agreement in the new year, but an earlier deal would require them to negotiate over a fee with Liverpool, something which might prove difficult for such an important player for the Premier League club. Danny Carvajal's ACL injury could accelerate a move for a new right back. An alternative to signing Alexander Arnold in January would be bringing in a stopgap signing before pushing ahead with their plans to sign. The 26 year old in the summer. Liverpool have been linked with Murillo in the light of the Brazilians' impressive form for Nottingham Forest. They aren't the only club in the mix, though with Real Madrid and Barcelona also reported to be keen on the center, back. The 22-year-old, who joined Forrest from Corinthians in 2023, earned his first senior Brazil call up for November's international break. He followed that up by scoring his first Premier League goal for Forrest in their recent defeat against Newcastle United. What do Liverpool need to do in the January transfer window? Have your say in the comments section Mario has been mentioned as a potential long-term successor to Virgil van Dijk if the Liverpool captain leaves Anfield. Van Dijk's future is as yet undecided. And he has spoken about wanting to leave contract discussions until later in the summer. Gary Neville was surprised to see a projection suggesting Liverpool have a 60% chance of winning the Premier League this season. Arn Slot's team have a five-point lead after 11 matches but still have to face reigning champions Manchester City home and away. Last night, I got stopped in my tracks. Neville said on the Stick to Football podcast. Brought to you by Skybet. I saw Sky Sports' Instagram feed post a title probability percentage, it blew my mind. Liverpool are 60% likely, the most likely to win the title. Manchester City have a 34% chance of winning the title and Arsenal have a 4.9% chance of winning. There's no way that's right, Arsenal at 4% and Liverpool at 60%. I don't feel like that probability is right at this moment in time. Liverpool are up against struggling Southampton in their first game back after the international break. After that comes a run of three huge games, though, with Manchester City visiting Anfield before slot side face Newcastle away from home and take on Everton in the first Merseyside derby of the campaign. Join our new WhatsApp community privacy notice.